So I've had a great time in Louisville, but it's time for me to get back on the road. Right now I'm headed up towards uh, Fort Collins. The kid I went to high school with named Blake is actually going up to school up there. And he hit me up and he said, yo, you got a place to crash up in Fort Collins. So I'm gonna take him up on that offer. And then after that, I'm headed towards Utah to go camping. Just met up with Blake, like regional <laughs> high school's most unique. And uh, <laughs> we are going hiking. What is your impression of New Jersey? I don't know. I think people are people everywhere, and it takes getting to know people to beyond that to realize that people are people. Awesome. Awesome answer. Couldn't have said it better. Life is too fucking short to be having a bad time. Climbing up these rocks. They're climbing up these rocks. I'm gonna cook some dinner soon. Why would you buy chicken feet? <laughs> Got a whole bunch of food. And now, we're making chicken wraps. Got all this bacon, chicken, hot sauce. And bacon strips, 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 and bacon strips. Homemade buffalo sauce, bacon, pepperoni, chicken, caramelized onions, avocado, and lettuce. Delicious. So, had an awesome time at Fort Collins, chilling with Blake, and now I'm going to Utah. Last night I went camping right here, and it was absolutely awesome. Got some really awesome long exposures. My check engine light went on after a little bit of an investigation. I found this. So gotta fix that. I'm at Arches National Park in Utah and it is like nothing I have ever seen before. Super cool arch. Wind erosion made this from what I understand. See, now this is kind of scary. <laughs> this is the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Double arches all the way. What does it mean? Canyonlands National Park. Those things look pretty tall. But I'm taller. It's a super small world. Here I am at Canyonlands uh, National Park and I just ran into uh, two guys that I actually saw at Arches National Park yesterday and a couple days ago I met a girl that knows one of my friends that I grew up with went to high school with Zach Therrett in Vermont. So that's pretty crazy. I think this too qualifies along with Niagara Falls as a good way to kill yourself. What is this? The Blair Witch Project? That drops about a hundred feet down there, so the logical thing for me to do is step over it. It's time for a nine mile hike. This is crazy. It's like 127 hours. 
That's a rattlesnake. Yep. Beautiful place to eat lunch. So I just finished up a nine mile hike and it felt really good. The air's real dry here, so it's not even like you sweat too much. This is Goblin State Park. These interestingly shaped things are called goblins. Old Indian graffiti work. Yes, I know, I should have my camera mount set up, but I don't. I'm done camping, and right now I'm going to Salt Lake City, and from there to California, so I'm pretty pumped. Um, while I was camping, I got some awesome pictures. I got a nice new Facebook picture. The campsite made me feel like I was on the moon or something. It was just all like crazy, like just hills and mud and dirt and, and rock. To all my fellow Ringwood friends, I'm passing Skyline Drive in Utah right now. I just woke up in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm going to go edit and upload the video that you're watching right now. And yeah, thanks for watching my fifth week on the road.